Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I have here the Nook tablet from Barnes & Noble. And last time we looked at the device, it was a uh, tablet that comes with a pretty excellent ebook reader, uh, applications for streaming internet movies and, and music, a nice web browser, and uh, access to around a thousand applications or so from the Barnes & Noble uh, shop. But if you want to be able to open it up to run other applications that are not available from Barnes Noble. Uh, in our previous videos, we've shown how easy it is to install the Amazon App Store, GetJar App Store, other app stores uh, that'll let you install other applications, um, or you can just download applications off the internet and install them. But now, it's also possible, it turns out, to install the official Google Android Market. And this gives you access to books, music, movies, pretty much everything that's available from Google. Now, there are a couple of quirks here. So first off, if you want to be able to flip back and forth between the default view and the view that shows you applications that you've downloaded from the Android market or other places, you, uh, you can't just go to the apps menu because any applications that you do download from Google are not going to show up here. Instead, you have to install a third-party app launcher or search for applications by name. Um, and then you can get to the app launcher by searching for it. And then once you do that, you can see all of your applications. Now the other quirk is that even though it looks like you should be able to have access to all of your applications that are available from the Android market, uh, hundreds of thousands of applications, there's uh, a number of omissions. So for instance, my favorite radio player, TuneIn Radio, I search for it and I see a whole bunch of other radio applications. TuneIn Radio just doesn't show up in the Android market. So that's something that probably, uh, there may be a software fix for that coming soon, but currently there's, uh, there's some holes in the availability of applications in the Android market. That said, um, it's pretty nifty that within, uh, within a week of release you've been able to install the Android market, uh, root the tablet, which is the equivalent of jailbreaking it, and um, make some uh, pretty interesting changes to the uh, $249 device as shipped by Barnes & Noble. Overall, I think you still get a really great experience if you do stick with the default view and use the Netflix application, for instance, or um, you know, applications for reading books or other things. Um, but if you want to sort of go outside of that walled garden and install additional applications and have more of a traditional Android tablet experience, you can do that. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I just wanted to show you a quick look at the Android market on the Nook tablet. You can also find more details on how to install that and how to root your Android tablet by going to lilliputing.com.